I don't know how it was just by chance I met one fantastic photographer and after that my life changed. It was Georgian photographer Yuri Mechitov. He was showing me his uh, works and something and he inspired me with his photography and not only him because I also um, like a magnum photography I'm always watching them and at that period also. When I finished school, I moved to Russia uh, to study there, but something changed in my life, like uh, in family problems or something, and I came back to Georgia. After that, I was studying economics, because in Georgia it was very popular at that period. But parallel, I was studying to this uh, photographer, Yuri Mechit. And after that, I got some uh, workshops with uh, Thomas Dvorak and Yuri Kozarev. Working as a documentary photographer in Georgia, it's like uh, I'm freelance, so I can do whatever I want. I think it's very um, easy to be a documentary photographer in Georgia because um, I love to, I love people, but it's bad because you can't make money, uh, and this is the biggest problem. I think not only in Georgia. I think it's in everywhere. Actually, people, they don't understand, like, when I'm saying that I'm a photographer, they didn't understand what it, what it is, you know, like, um, they don't have job, like, because for, for Georgia, best job is, like, when you're working on a bank or somewhere, like, I don't know, I can't understand it, but people, I like this. So in 1992, in Georgia, there was a civil war. And at that period, Georgia lost one of her party. It's called Abkhazia. So a lot of people from Abkhazia um, became refugees in their own land. So and uh, they came <clears throat> from Abkhazia to uh, in capital city, Tbilisi. So um, and they now live in one special place. It's called now uh, student uh, student city. Uh, it's a fourteen floor. Of, um, houses or building and there are a lot of people <laughs> who are living there it's a story of, about refugees in georgia so i'm making a story about their everyday life i started it uh, one year ago but after that i think that i'm not ready for it and now because of master class uh, i put the master class pushed me to <clears throat> making a story now, I really like the workshops and I really think that it's a very good thing that we are all here and I'm really happy to be here and I'm, I'm also proud because I'm first from Georgia <laughs> here, so I'm really very proud of it. I like that we're everyone together to um, have a contact with each other and um, I think to, I hope that I will get um, knowledge here and here is a lot of masters and uh, you have uh, you have a, a small t a small period of time to touch with everyone and i'm not a very open person so i need to time to um to to get contacts or something one of my biggest prob project is about um uh it's called i am georgia and uh it's about Georgians' daily life, street life, everything. Like, uh, I'm doing it for a long time, so it's absolutely everything about Georgia. It's Georgians' um, face. Special people, special mentality of people, special places, special... I don't know, for me it's everything special, just because I'm <laughs> I love my country. I prefer to take picture in my country. I don't know why, because maybe uh, for me it's unexpected or something. I I really want to um, to do first my country and uh, the, um, after maybe to think to another countries. Um, Ukraine also. I love Ukraine, and that's why I'm going there and making a project there. But first time when I go there, it was absolutely important, uh, impossible for me because I was going and looking for everything like a stupid tourist, you know, so I don't want to take picture like a tourist. Um, because I think that when you're, uh, when you want to make a good photography, you need to live there, you need to um, be in this situation. The camera is all the time with me, like I'm going somewhere, it doesn't matter, I'm going to the uh, supermarket or 
somewhere. Yeah, I'm always looking for a frame.